Dandy Lockwood from Lockwood College Prep here with a little tip on the common application. Now I'm recording this as a video to go up on YouTube and Facebook, but um, I'm also attempting to make this into a podcast, which is audio, so it's going to be a little hard to follow along if you're just listening to this. But I wanted to talk today about the hidden places to find supplemental essays or supplemental writing requirements from each school. So what, what I'm doing now for the visually impaired is I am in the common application dashboard itself and I've loaded up a few sample colleges. One of them is Boston College. So I'm going to click, um, actually before I click on that, it says right here on the dashboard, Boston College. It's got two entries, application, and it says that's in progress. And also says writing supplement that is in progress. So I want to compare and contrast that with Syracuse University, <coughs> lower down on the dashboard, and perhaps in your hearts, um, which has only an entry for application in progress and it doesn't mention writing supplements. So you might think to yourself, hey, self, there is no additional writing required. Okay, you'd be wrong. So first, let's go into the Boston College section. So I'm gonna go now to the My Colleges tab at the top of the Common Application. By the way, Common Application is found at commonapp.org. Little fun fact there, just to be complete. So. I'm clicking on Boston College, I'm in the left tab, I'm going down here, and I see, you know, under the application, I see questions, FERPA, which people get all excited about, maybe I'll cover that in another exciting video, slash podcast, and then I go into writing supplement, it says very clearly here that they're writing, writing supplement, and there are questions, so let's just click on the questions, all right, now, Please respond to one of the following prompts with a 400 word limit. One is about great art, and I am just not going to spend any more time on this because that's not the point here. So you see here, this is where it's very easy to find the extra questions, or question that this particular school, BC, requires. Okay, let's get out of this one. Now let's take a look at Syracuse. Now Syracuse, remember on the dashboard, go back to the dashboard, there is no mention of extra questions. I wonder if you can see where I'm going with this. So now I'm in the My Colleges tab, I'm clicking on Syracuse, and I'm going into the drop down questions, FERPA, and then review and submit. So let's go into questions. If you were to do that and then stop, you would just see when you're starting college, that's the first question, do you wanna live off or off campus, do you intend to pursue need-based financial aid or not? Okay. And then you'd be like, all right, a few other things. I don't see anything to write about. I'm done. Thank God I don't have to write any stupid questions. But, like I said before, you would be wrong. Writing. This is where the extra questions are. These are the same type of supplemental essay questions. 250 word, why are you applying to Syracuse? Which is the most popular question that any school asks, why are you applying here? And then... Who is the person you dream of becoming? And how do you believe Syracuse University can help you achieve this? Right? So there's where you put the two supplemental essays, even though Syracuse calls them something else. Questions that are writing questions. So there you go. Little confusing dilemma solved. I hope you find this helpful. If you want more information about us, our programs, we help families with uh, paying for college in terms of financial aid. We coach kids through the whole process of getting in to college. We offer test prep. And most importantly, we approach things backwards. We start with the end in mind, meaning why are you going to school? What do you want to major in? We call that down to four or five different majors and careers that where kids can love what they do and make a living because... These majors match up with how each kid is wired. And then and only then we back into a set of colleges and do everything possible to optimize their chances of getting in, including essays, applications, you name it. So all that information is on lockwoodcollegeprep.com. Thanks for watching slash listening, and bon voyage.